can call. You can do anything. Are you sure he has a police force behind him? Can I say can I say a few things then? First of all, we are talking of land. This man, like uh, you've been told, was given the one he was given. Even though we said no, dairy farm, you are giving him this. He's not likely to do this because our climatic condition is such that it cannot be done. Okay, but you know, the euphoria of, oh, our son in the House of Reps and so on, let's give it to him, so to say. They gave it to him. 15 years after nothing except a residential house in the place. And then you come in again and you ask for, well, they just played it down. He asked for 90 hectares to do a golf course in the village. Then he turned around and put in another letter asking for two kilometers by one kilometer size of land because he says he wants to develop a university. He's asking for all of them free of charge. He put in this letter on the, the second letter came in on the 23rd of March. By 28th of March, 2015, I am saying five days after, he pulled in bulldozers, supported or protected by people in police uniform and police paraphernalia. What I mean is police van, police gun, and then in uniform. Maybe they're not policemen, but for us, we can't tell the difference. You hear, you see what I'm talking about? They supervise the bulldozing, which continues up till tomorrow. The only young man who was bold enough to go in there into his farm to say, what are you people doing? It was the same police that arrested him, took him and charged him for what? Attempted murder. A golf course. Yes. Surely it will bring fame to your community. Yes. Because golf players are supposed to be big people and they'll be coming to play with him and spending money in your in your town. It's not true. So I, can I say can I say this? I don't want to look at to help the economy look, of I don't the want town. To look move at, on. Yes. I don't want to look at yes and no of a golf course in Idumujuboko. There is one in Asaba. We want to know how much is doing. There's, There's one even Agara. one in Ogara. We want to know how much is doing. Look, you are talking golf players are people who go to where there is peace. Who go to where there is affluence? There is no peace. Delta, as a whole, you know that even if there was, they don't think there is. You have nothing to keep any golfer. The first 200 golfers in this world are all whites. Even the black one that is inside there says he's a white. You know that. But let's leave that alone. Even if you are going to do that, are you going to do that on the grave of those who own land, who earn their living from those pieces of land? because you want the town to say it has a golf course, therefore everybody else will die. I mean, it does not make sense. It does not make sense. And I kept asking him, where are you going to get this land? Because we don't have it. That's it. Talking about how is he using the police, I told you the first thing. The second is that they talked about cases. Cases. How can the police come in because somebody has sent in a petition, listed names, and when they list, even if it's 30 names, they put below it others. So that from time to time, they can accommodate more names. And they just raid the place and arrest them without investigation, without anything. And we're asking, how is he using the police? The police is surely behind him. We each time we have a problem and you go to report to the police, somebody will say, let's wait. The young ones, the youth, when they go there to report, this is happening in the community, they check. Ah. This man's name is on the list. You who have come to be to report will be remanded for a different petition. That is what he's doing with the police. And a lot more. And that is why we can say that even a natural ruler is in hiding because the police is after him everywhere. Okay, um, we'll, we'll go on a quick break. We'll come back to continue this conversation. So guys, today this one make a year for internet. This one really shocked me. I don't know how true this one be. But based on the fact that Ned Unwoko, you know, this man, this man gets ongoing problem right now. The problem that made him to run away from his stand, Ned granted interviewed. And that interviewed, Ned made the old world not say in life they at risk 
say people want him dead. In fact, his wife, Regina Daniel, was the person they sent the suicide notes through. Say they really won't buy him and he no no waiting in do the public. They want to delete him for no reasons. He have done nothing wrong to them. In fact, in case you don't know who this mad organet be, organet na somebody me they very greedy. To the extent he marry more than five wives, and at that greediness made this organ get. Now he take marry more than five wives. Now he take collect people lands, not one, no. people lands, acres of lands, collected lands, forcefully collected lands from widows, from widowers, from orphans, old men and old women. Why? Because Ned tricked them that he want to build, you know, he want to make the place look beautiful as a billionaire from the from their states, from their land, from their community he wants to build and you know he won't make the place so you know civilized and popular he won't build he won't create jobs he wants to make sure the youth from that community all of them get jobs so now good idea everybody give land their land to Ned free of charge thinking Ned go build you know schools and create jobs for them but as time goes on, go on and on and on, the villagers discovered that Ned tricked them, collected the land just for his own selfish interest, built uh, um, zoo there, built big fish pond, built all the things Ned built, not before the benefits of the villagers, just for himself. An original plan... He told them, say, he won't create jobs. He won't make the place beautiful. He won't make the place, you know, place me. People go, they come. They go, they get jobs. He won't make them. If you, as a Nigeria, if you know, visit that place, you never visit any good place for the world. He won't make a tourist site where people go, they go and jobs go there. Because of that, the uh, community go become popular. Jobs go come there, you know. So, Last four months ago, the community, the villagers protested, including the women. Everybody go on the street, protested, say they want their lands back. Because Ned, not be waiting, we agreed on be this. You tricked us. You promised us job creation. You promised us you will make this our community be the best in Nigeria. We are even the government. The federal government go concrete jobs for death for us because you be politician, you go talk to your ogre at the top, the presidency, and you go make this place a beautiful place for us. That was why we gave you the land. But recently you can't the So when I discovered that Ned Holy deceived them to you know acquire those lands for himself alone, the villagers took the matter to all Nigeria television stations complaining bitterly crying begging the government to come to their rescue beg the presidency beg everybody this is a very serious matter if you go on net like go to internet when i mean net i mean the google is all over the google is all over the social media that net forcefully collected land from poor villagers just for himself alone their land just because ned get royal blood for him body had lands from people just like that that's very bad and now the recent one made him make this matter now the trend people say ned house for lagos ned house was burnt down simply because of this old thing ned house burnt down this is the this is the like the one that is trending now he said his own house burnt down in fact, I'm not surprised, but I don't know how true this matter be. But Ned is hiding right now, like hiding for his life. His life there for danger. Here and there, he they cry up and down for social media publicly. We know no be eating something. So if in house or mansion burnt down, anyway, now sorry I could tell her. But we not just know what to say. For these are greedy people. I don't know why politicians are so greedy these days. 
Why are politicians so greedy? That is my question. Greedy to the extent you collect everything for yourself. You don't care whether people around are dying. This is really bad. Anyway, my people, we're going to leave on our thoughts in the comment section. This is what I have. Oh, 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 o